it's Perth who get the ball rolling on a wet night. Oh, Swinger towards Scott Neville, who uh, might have got a little piece of it. It's swung in. Good looking delivery by Walter Scott, and they've scored. Scott Neville, second time around. He had a bite at it first time from Castro's corner. Second time, he's planted it into the bottom corner, and it's Perth with a goal in less than 90 seconds. 73% possession with victory, or Castro with a rare loose ball, and it's two on one for victory here. Barisha for Leroy George, and Reddy makes the save. Surely they must score. James Choice, he does at the far post and it's 1-1 James Troisi with just his second of the season it's a beautiful ball by Castro they're onside this time Jacob Italiano tag it Matt Acton makes the block with the legs crucial stop Leroy George from the touchline whipping it in low and it's turned in by Mark Milligan doesn't score too many, certainly not from open play, they normally come for the penalty spots, but he was in the right position to get on the end of Leroy George's ball in, it's going to be Dino Jorbic to come off and he's going to hand the captain's armband, or Carl Valeri is I should say, to Lee Broxham, as he prepares to take the pitch for the 250th time as a Melbourne Victory player players seem to move around an awful lot more than they used to, and Tony into the path of Barbarousas. Here's a chance for Barisha. And Liam Reddy has prevented him from scoring with a really good save. Wanderers next, and then have a home game on Australia Day against Sydney FC. But they've got a problem here. Matt Acton off his line, and Diego Castro lifts it over the top of the stricken goalkeeper. And Perth Gloria all square with seven and a half minutes left. Spoons it up into the night sky. Leroy George, beautiful release. Barbarousas to win it. Does so, surely for victory. Three assists for Leroy George. What a finish by Costa Barbarousas. And it might just be worth three points for Kevin Musket's team.